This day I will tell you a short story about the snowman goes visiting. I hope you can enjoy it and you can learn some of a moral in this story. Let's start the story. Yadrade had lived in the mountains for centuries. His home had always been the snow-covered landscape. He roamed freely, feeding on the odd sheep or yak that crossed his path. Yadrade appeared to be a giant with white hair from a distance. He was pleasant, but no one wanted to be friends with him. Because of the icy winds and snow that followed him wherever he went. Yadrade was the last remaining snowman on this planet. He had lived for 3,000 years. His father and uncle had moved their families from the Arctic zones to the Himalayas when he was a baby. Except for him and his uncle's daughter, whom he later married, the altitude change had taken its toll on all members of his family. His wife had died in an avalanche 500 years before, leaving him without children. He had enjoyed his freedom at first, but now he was lonely. The animals that lived in the mountains were terrified of him. He tried to visit the humans who were camped in the mountains on occasion. However, his size and appearance would put everyone off. Most of them mistook him for a colossal bear and fled screaming, Yeti. Yeti. Yeti, he assumed, was the human word for run. Yadrade had no idea why. He had a similar appearance to humans, except he was much hairier and two heads taller. His face bore no resemblance to that of a bear. He knew because he saw himself in the large lake one summer. Yadrade was always curious about where these humans came from. He knew there were a lot more of them because they traveled in groups. He decided to follow their tracks and find out where they came from one day. He arrived in a village. The village had a lot of small houses. He could see lights at the windows in the dark. He approached the nearest house and peered inside. Two people were seated at a table. Honey, it's very windy out there. Could you please close the windows and draw the curtains? The woman inside asked. The weather has taken a turn for the worse, said the man. I wonder how long this will go on. The man shut the windows and pulled the curtains shut, obstructing Yadrade's view. Yadrade walked down the road until he saw a small boy playing in the snow. Hi? Would you mind if I played with you? Yadrade inquired of the youngster. Sure. I'm making a snowman, and you can help me make it bigger because you're so tall, the boy replied. Demon, please come inside. Outside, it's getting colder. From inside the house, a woman called. The boy dashed into the house. Yadrade was upset. He made the decision to relocate to another village. But he met the same fate there as well. He visited a third and fourth village. People would lock themselves in their homes wherever he went. The one or two people who saw him on the road would either stare or run away, terrified. His sadness quickly turned to rage. He was a nice guy who only wanted to be friends with these people. The wind around him became colder as he became angrier, and it began to snow. This was an issue because he had arrived in the plains, where it never snowed. He sat down on the banks of a large river, depressed. Cold winds howled around him, and it was heavily snowing. The water in the river had frozen. A small puppy was playing in the snow across the river. It was jumping up and down, yapping merrily, trying to catch the snowflakes falling to earth. Yadrate sat and watched the game. Yadrate smiled when he saw the puppy. After a while, another dog approached and nudged the pup, causing both of them to flee together. Yadrade was struck by realization. He'd returned to the rest of his people in the Arctic. That was his natural habitat. He was dome playing in the Himalayas. It was finally time for him to return home. Thank you for listening my story, I hope you like it. Please show your support by click like and subscribe to this channel. And when you want another story to read, please comment below. My name Kok Iko, see you on the next story.